In this video, I'm gonna show you the best Premiere Pro 2020 Instagram export settings. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing, hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Once I have Premiere open up, I'm gonna first go up to File, New, Sequence, then I'm gonna go down to Digital SLR, 1080p, and then I'm just gonna select whichever frame rate I want my video to be exported out at. For me, I just want it to be 24 frames a second, so I'm gonna click on that, then go up to Settings, and we're gonna start off with just a basic Instagram square post. So in order to do that, I'm gonna change the frame size to 1920 by 1920. And what this does is it creates a one by one aspect ratio square 1920 resolution video. The highest resolution on Instagram is 1080p. So I export my video at a 1920 resolution so that whenever it gets uploaded to Instagram, it gets compressed down and it's actually a higher quality than most videos on the platform. Once that's done, I'm just gonna press okay. Then I'm gonna drag my footage that I've already imported onto the timeline. And if this window comes up, you're gonna click keep existing settings instead of change sequence settings because I want to keep the settings that I just set. And now depending on how I shot my video I might need to go in and adjust how the video looks inside the frame so I'm just gonna go up to editing tab and then I can scale this down just a little bit if I need to and position this how I want it to look within the frame once I'm completely done editing my video it's time to export so I'm gonna first take this marker and go to the very beginning of the footage press I on the keyboard for in and then go to the very end of the footage and press O on the keyboard for out and this creates an area that tells Premiere what section on the timeline I want to export then I'm gonna go up to file export media I'm going to start off by keeping the format at H.264, then just leave the preset at match source. Don't worry about that right now because it's going to change to custom here in a minute. Then just click on output name, and this is going to be where you name and where you want to save your footage at. Just click save. Make sure you check export video and export audio. Then scroll down and make sure that your basic video settings matches what your sequence settings were. So mine was 1920 by 1920. If this isn't the same, you can manually adjust this by unchecking this box and unlinking and changing it to what it needs to be, or you can just click match source. Then just scroll down, make sure that your frame rate matches whatever you wanted your frame rate to be. Field order should be progressive, aspect should be square pixels 1.0. Then check render at maximum depth. Then scroll down, make sure that performance is set to software encoding. Make sure profile is set to high and level should be set to 5.0. Then scroll down to your bitrate settings. Bitrate encoding should be set to VBR two pass. And for target bitrate and maximum bitrate, I just want you to multiply this by two. So this is going to be 20 and maximum bitrate is going to be 24. Then just check use maximum render quality and then click export. Another way to post on Instagram is with a four by five aspect ratio. So in order to change it to that, I can just go up to sequence, sequence settings, and then change the frame size to 1200 by 1500. And the four by five aspect ratio is really good because it takes up more real estate on Instagram and it's actually more appealing to the eye. So I'm just gonna press okay. If this window comes up, just press okay as well. So all I have to do is just go back through my footage and make sure that my video sits correctly within the frame. If not, I can just adjust the position and I can adjust the scale as well. And once I'm happy, I can just go up again to file, export, media, then again, make sure that format is set to H.264. Don't worry about preset. Output name can be whatever you wanna name it and wherever you wanna save it. Press save. Then make sure you check export video and export audio. Then scroll down to your basic video settings and make sure that they match what your sequence settings were. Mine was 1200 by 1500. If not, just uncheck this and unlink this and change it manually or just click match source. Then scroll down, make sure that your frame rate matches. Your field order is set to progressive. Aspect is 1.0. Render at maximum depth should be checked. Scroll down to encoding settings, make sure this is set to software encoding. Profile should be set to high, and level this time should be set to 4.2. Then scroll down to your bitrate settings, and again, your bitrate settings should be set at VBR2 pass, and then just double this by changing this to 20, and maximum bitrate should be set to 24. Then again, make sure use maximum render quality is checked and just click export. Now when I'm creating an Instagram story, there's a couple things that I wanna keep in mind. You're gonna get the best quality footage for your Instagram stories by displacing your camera in vertical mode. And that can be done by just turning your camera sideways. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to sequence, go to sequence settings, and then change this frame size to 1080 by 1920. And this is gonna create a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Then press okay, press okay again. And now I can just scale this up position it properly within the frame. Now I'm ready to export, go to file, export, media, format should be H.264, preset, leave it as it is. 
Output name is whatever you want to name it and whatever you want to save it. Export video, export audio, both checked. Basic video settings should be whatever the sequence settings were. If not, just click match source or manually check it yourself. Frame rate should be 23.976 or whatever frame rate you want to export your video at. Build order should be progressive. Aspect should be at square pixels 1.0. Check render at maximum depth. Encoding settings should be set to hardware encoding. Profile should be set to high. Level should be set to 4.2. Then scroll down to your bitrate settings. Change this to VBR2 pass. Change the target bitrate to 20 or double whatever was suggested to you and change this to 24. Then check use maximum render quality and just click export. The best ways to transfer your video from your computer to your phone is gonna be AirDrop if you're using iPhone. And if you're using Android, you can use Google Drive or Dropbox. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.